I think one thing we want to do, we are returning most, almost all the players starting lineup from last year. We've added four freshmen, uh, hopefully add some depth. I think one thing we need to improve upon is uh, our lower part of the lineup. We struggled there. We had, didn't have very good records at number three doubles and number six singles. So we, if we can improve those, I think we'll be better. I am returning my starting five from last year, uh, starting six. Essentially, number six had a surgery in the fall, so she will not be participating in the beginning. But the four freshmen I brought in have certainly added to the depth that we have. Uh, there's not too much difference between our, our four and our ten. Um, so we can certainly, if, if we do have run into the case of injuries or various circumstances, we certainly should not lose anything by having to um, add in more players. So we've certainly increased the depth. I say our, our starting uh, players from last year had, had good records, um, so hopefully they can. They all want to improve upon those. So if they can do that, we'll certainly be looking better. Well, every conference match is always good. Uh, we obviously compete in the toughest conference in the country as far as tennis goes. Uh, so we play a lot of top ten schools, and then regionally this year we are playing West Florida as well as Valdosta. Who have West Florida finished top 10 last year, Valdosta was top 20, top 30, so we have those schools. We have schools coming from various regions, uh, Texas, uh, Michigan, so we get a wide variety of, of schools coming down to visit us as well, so it should be a, a wide array of, of matches. Uh, the goal will always be to improve upon last year. Last year we finished fifth in the conference. Uh, we pre-season and ended last season uh, around 33 in the country, uh, so looking to always improve upon those, uh, potentially top 20 in the country, if we ha will have the opportunity based on our schedule, and to finish top four in the conference is always always a goal. Uh, it's a tough goal since we have, I say, a very tough competition, but we always, that's what we have to strive for. I think we really need to focus on our team goals of, of really coming out hot in doubles. Um, that was something we, we actually did have an all-conference doubles team last year, but it's something that as a whole, we need our, our two and three doubles to also step up and, and really win those big points early in the matches. I'm very fortunate to have the core team from last year. Uh, we have added one new player, but I have four seniors, um, and three of those guys were integral last year it is with the success of the program. Um, one, of the, one of the guys came off an injury so it's nice to have him back in the lineup. Uh, the one new freshman is a young guy who I think over the next few years will really, once he gets his feet wet, will make a, a nice improvement in the squad. Pretty much every SSC opponent we have is like the big match. Those are big matches, but obviously with, with the Rollins close by and, and St. Leo an hour away, those are always kind of big, big matches that we look forward to. It's, it's really nice because we go there and that's our home. Like the guys, they have their courts that they train on every day and, and they know that's, that's their facility. And you know, the upkeep and the care, uh, obviously facilities handles that, but it's, that's our baby. And, and when we go there and, and we know that they're gonna train on those courts every day and they just got resurfaced this year. So they're playing, they're you know, adjusting to the new surface, but it's really nice having such a, an awesome facility. Uh, just be cool if we could get uh, the people out, you know, from the end of school.